Welcome to the Rocket League OC Championship Games here. We're just about to get into the quarterfinals here in the St. Clair Nexus. Yeah, Matthias, we've been cooking up a lot of action here in that Nexus, which you just got a beautiful aerial view of. And now you got the uh, boots on the ground version, the FPS first person <laughs> camera lens of what's going on here in this arena. And today we have, like you said, the OC Rocket League Championship. And there is so much energy and passion going into these games. And I cannot wait to get them underway. Exactly. Exactly. We've seen so many good games on display here today. So many close games, so many unexpected turns of the game as well. Some teams Absolutely. seem so dominant and then some just flip it right back later in the game. So I'm excited as we're easing into these quarterfinals. We've been whittled down to the best of the best and I'm sure we have some amazing action in store. Amazing action indeed for the winners. Quarterfinals of the first game we're going to be looking at. It's going to be the Bears versus the Dragons, two of some of the most dominant teams we've seen here today. And they're already facing each other to get things started off. I think we are going to be seeing a lot of close games if, you know, at least history repeats itself. Exactly. And this is the Plat Minus division here. This is looking to be a very competitive game. The Dragons, I think think even got the only 3-0 we saw on display here today, exactly. but I'm sure that's not the only 3-0 here today. But we shall see what the Bears have to face against them. Here we are in the game. 10 seconds left already in the match. <laughs> no goals have been <laughs> taken, but the first goal is going to go over to the Dragons. Yeah, I think this uh, might have been a little bit of an issue with the lobby. I noticed that the timer was counting up and not down. Now, that was my first warning sign, but at least the players got a little bit of warm-up time. Time, got their hands nice and ready because they're going to be utilizing them to their full 100% maximum capacity, okay? Ordinary hands are not built to handle this kind of gameplay, okay? My hands, your hands... There's a reason we're at this desk and not playing. Yeah, you either need the hands of a bear or the hands of a dragon if you want to be as good at Rocket League as them. And they're here getting ready thumbs up all around as you can see that third guy no thumbs up for him he's locked in yes, here uh, both teams seem to have one locked in member as well everybody <laughs> else locking getting the team synergy going and that's what you need you always need one guy locked in focused you know, the piloting anchor. the whole thing the anchor point yeah. for the whole team it's a reference point for your team. Like you gotta, you, so you can be nervous. You can look around left and right, like oh, I don't know. And then you make sure, I should, I should make sure I'm acting like the anchor here. It's a reference point. Keep you grounded. Keep you stable. But as the players are getting into this game, I'm sure the instability will only rise. I can hear the countdown going. We're gonna be going right into the game as we're starting things off. Five minutes at least, guaranteed of the action that we're gonna get started with today. Yeah, and there is a big save coming out already. Now we're gonna see. Looks like the Dragons are making the first approach and they get a nice sink in to start things off. Absolutely, the Dragons, they have been riding this wave of pure unbridled aggression from their previous series. And it's since then, it feels like they haven't even skipped a beat. It's just been non-stop domination coming out from this team. But I believe the Bears, if anybody, can give them a run for their money so far. And you can see for sure right now, the Bears are trying to kind of counteract some of that offense with some of their own. They're not letting up. They're not giving any ground to the Dragons because they know what can happen if you get this team going. It can just become too much to handle and roll things right out of control. So right now they're doing their best to maintain their own aggression. That way the Dragons won't be able to get theirs started. And just like that, with that game plan working out for them, I don't see any, I don't see that changing anytime soon. So they've already gotten their first goal. Yeah, it's 1-1 one one here in the Battle of the Beasts. The dragons have one, Bears have another. And now it's all up to see who takes the lead once more. Four minutes remain on the clock here in the quarterfinals. And wow, what a nice save from the Bears, keeping themselves in this as the Dragons take a mean strike at our goal. Now the ball's up in the area, and the Dragons not letting up on the gas. They're continuing to hammer away at this goal. They're going to give it all they got. Maximum aggression here. It's all up to the Bears' defense to keep themselves safe. But now, you see 
Dragons. There another attack going around, and it's all up there right now. It's being passed back and forth. I just can't wait to see who will take the gold. That was a nice shot, but a nice, nicer save from Dragons. Yes, so far these teams have been playing at a peak we haven't really seen so far today. It feels like they've kind of come into a new form altogether. They've ascended beyond their previous forms, and it's just looking completely, completely on lock. And I think at this rate, it's only a matter of time before somebody cracks because everything's been going basically perfectly so far. I couldn't imagine that you could maintain this level of play for very long. It's just gonna be a race to see who can hold on to it the longest. It's gonna be an endurance battle, but right now it seems like the Bears are getting ready for their shot and they're gonna find that in. That's gonna be the second goal of the series going the way of Bears Esports. Slow and steady wins the race for that goal as they get the nice setup and through sheer persistence alone, the Bears stretch in the lead, but there's still nearly three minutes remaining left on the clock. The Dragons are sure to close this gap. Surely there's a lot of time left, three minutes, especially in this game. You can make a lot happen with that. But right now, it's looking to be quite difficult as the Bears are already mounting up another offense. And it's gonna be a quite a while before the Dragons will have any breathing room, breathing room to, you know, breathe all that fire that I'm sure they've got stored up throughout the day. But right now, that's not gonna go their way because the Bears have shot another goal. And you can tell that this team is really feeling themselves. Yeah, the Bears are looking very good so far and just, Barely not saving that goal, unfortunately. But you know, there's always room for more saves. The Dragons have shown that they have a lot of comeback potential. We shall, sat, we shall have to see if they can do that against these vicious bears. Vicious indeed. I hope Dragons brought their bear spray because right now it seems that just being a Dragons alone isn't enough to intimidate them because look at the way that these team is, this team is playing. Again, Dragons have been one of the most dominant teams we've seen so far far today without question yet the bears are playing so confidently and i feel like that's a core element of any team and having success in any game just having the confidence to make your plays as if you know that they're going to wow. work and the dragons now are retaliating with some confidence of their own an excellent shot coming up from the dragons but it's going to be masterfully blocked by the bears and again they're going to turn that defensive uh, position and they're going to get a goal off of it instead of a very good opportunity seeking team and when they look for opportunities it's very rare that they go wrong that was a beautiful shot by the bears now they're in a three-point lead against the dragons they have just been playing impeccably on the attack and on the defense so many nice saves coming out from the bears now the demo to kick things off they're even going to put on the aggression more than they already have as we see they tee up for another goal going back but the dragons are boosting their defense i'm going to see if the bears can stick this one on it's a nice oh setup going my. in over the top and the bears get another goal on their points point board <laughs> scoreboard I, uh, I i gotta say with eyes i really was not expecting to see such a strong showing from the bears so far right out of the gate you know their roster right now i'm looking at it, space kangaroo lonely not human um sanits and the code red rl kev gamer kev 12 gamer a lot of players on this team and i'm sure that they all give 100 percent into making sure that it runs like a very well maintained ship um, right now they are sailing and cruising their way to victory after they get another clean goal right off the top and again you can tell that this team is really feeling themselves it's not every day you get to put on such a show for so many people and it's moments like that you got to appreciate and just make the most of it and i'm very glad to see that the bears definitely are and the bears have locked in here and they are looking to get even more points they're looking at that they're not even letting up on the aggression they could run on the clock for another minute but no they're going to keep on keeping on for these goals and the dragons to keep themselves in this but look at that the bears are just utterly dominant right now they get these amazing setups time after time and this one's just going to go right in i mean just look at that slam that slam dunk that they're able to pull off the team synergy on the bears is absolutely impressive 100 percent and like you mentioned matthias another goal but 
One thing to point out is that they're one away from invoking the Mercy Rule. If this goes in, that would be the end of the game, but it's not going to go in quite that way. So far, the Dragons are mounting an attack of their own, trying to find something, anything. At this point, it would be pretty hard for them to win the game. I don't even think they're playing for that. They just want to get something to revitalize them, remind them of what kind of team they are and that they are capable of being just as, if not more, dominant than the team that they're playing against right now. So hopefully they can find something, one or maybe even two goals here, or at least prevent yourself from losing another goal because that would be hard to handle. But what we've seen from every team here today is that they have a lot of resilience, and I'm excited to see what the Dragons bring for us in the next game. So the Bear is teeing up for an amazing shot. The Dragons just need this to slam the ground, and look at that, almost getting another goal, but they managed to save it out the last moment. But the Bears taking this first game 7-1. to 7-1 to one indeed. And like I mentioned, the Bears roster is doing an excellent job so far far but now I'm even looking at the Dragons roster we saw a couple of them already and they have some more players than the ones we saw before you know we have Grim Rips 2006 Honeycomb 017 Devoted 187 Alley a lot of numbers after that one and Happy so I'm sure that with this team they have a lot of wiggle room to try to coordinate and maybe even make some switches to see if they can get a roster or a squad that can be confident and comfortable on the stage playing together at 100% capacity but whatever this team decides to do, I'm sure that they're going to make a decision that's best for them. Exactly. Having such a wide array of members is always a good thing to have. You know, maybe trying, maybe someone's a little bit better at setting. Maybe someone's a little for bit sure. better at defense. You can more play around your strengths to your opponent's strengths as well. But with how dominant the Bears have been, it's going to be a tough job nonetheless. The Bears have proven to be such a strong team. They're good at making those comebacks. They're so good at the attack and the defense. I gotta say their defense is just completely impenetrable from what we've seen. Yeah, I mean, some of the most impressive shots we've seen today have come from the Dragons, and even in that series alone, and most, if not at least letting through one at the beginning, the Bears were able to defend against all of them. So I'm excited to see how both of these teams develop, not only just throughout the day, but even just through this single game here, because it's definitely been close and it's definitely been interesting to watch throughout the whole day. But as we get into game two, I want to see if the Dragons have kind of decided to make any changes. And one thing I can see for certain right now is they are playing a little bit more spread out. There's a lot of clustering before. They could even see it on the bear side as well. But I feel like once a team kind of commits to spreading out and is able to really coordinate their plays instead of kind of clumping together, that's when you start to see a little bit more creativity. And that's when you can see that they're able to capitalize off of more opportunities and kind of set things up for themselves, uh, more so than just playing React. Now, we're seeing the Bears go in here, trying to get another goal. They can't quite see it in that time, and now it's going to be Dragons going in on the attack, and they get the first goal once again. They're back in this, and this can be the first point that starts their momentum swing. Absolutely, this team is doing a great job so far. They've come back from the brink, but hate to be the bearer of bad news. This is, well, bearer of the bad bear. news. Yeah, 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 <laughs> of course. But this is how that last game started. So I wouldn't count the bears out just yet, but at the very least, the dragons are still in this game and they are still willing to fight and more than capable of it at that. But as the offense is now coming out from the bears, they are still trying to get the ball over to the blue side of things, but it does end up swinging back to the orange. The dragons are now circling the ball like it's uh, like a cow in a medieval peasant's field. I'm not sure what dragons really like to eat, but they are looking very hungry with that ball, but uh, even more so, they're looking ready to defend against anything. The bear's going for a shot, but it gets absolutely denied. The dragons are completely on fire right now, and they're looking to set fire to the rest of the competition as right away, they find themselves a second goal, and I think we have ourselves a series right now, Matthias. For sure, they have a 2-0 lead in the bears. Not having as good as a game as they did last time, but now there's three minutes left. They can still make a good comeback, and we've seen the Bears make a many amazing comebacks time and time again. But so far, the Dragons have been having an amazing showing so far. I'd be remiss if I had any doubt for them at all. 
Bear is still idling, trying to get their foot back in the door as the Dragons are in the driver's seat right now, controlling the pace of the game. Right now, the Bear is going to get in control of the ball, and that is a clean shot in the goal, oh. but doesn't quite make it. The 50 is lost, but his teammates there to make it up. They're not going to let out off the aggression. Nice save. Another attack, but amazing save from the Dragons. The Dragons now, they are trying to posture themselves a little bit more defensively, um, but I can't really blame them. The Bears are just mounting such an aggressive offense there. A couple of misses on the ball, but it's ultimately going to find the way over to the blue corner, which is going to present a nice opportunity to really set things up. Where you decide to take the ball, you have all the opportunity, all the ample choices in the world to send this where you want to go. It's going to end up going to the opposite side, but this time now in the Bears' possession, it's going to go to the corner, two chasing, one's going to get it, taking it right back to the opposite side. It's going to go up, three popped up, three in the corner waiting, and now it's going to come down right back to center. They have to try to get this cleared properly this time because if they allow it to get intercepted again, it's going to be disastrous for their defense. But it seems that they are able to succeed in getting it out back over to the opponent's side. And in fact, they're allowed to get a nice shot on. A follow-up was almost there, but intercepted indeed. This could even turn into a goal themselves. It's going to roll up on the wall, but they have two there ready to for the counterattack. Both of them are going to go for it, but it's going to ultimately find its way retreating outside. But another save coming out for Orange side here. The Bears are doing a great job making sure they're staying alert, staying ready for anything as they don't want to give the Dragons any more opportunities to further distance the gap. But a minute and 30 remaining, there's still plenty of time for either of these teams to get more goals. Wow. In fact, maybe even a second or two. That's all they need. The Dragons Dragons are now up 3-0. And now we're seeing a totally different story than the last game. The Dragons being the dominant ones here. 3-0. Their defense is utterly astounding. They have continued to just be consistent on that attack as well. These teams are very evenly matched right now, but it looks like the Dragons have soared into the lead. But wow! From downtown, just as I say that, casters, curse, whatever you want to call it, the Bears sink one in from downtown. 1-2-3. We are 3-1 right now and it is still anybody's game honestly with the caliber that these teams are playing at I'm sure they're more than capable of making opportunities for themselves to really get away with a lot that's going to be off the kickoff now going to possession of the dragons they're going to go for a shot but it's going to get absolutely rejected the dragons are trying to reset they find that taking it to the corner it's going to be a bit of a fight but he's going to win the 50 off the wall now going to get boost use that to get the ball completely cleared out take it to the enemy corner now bears on the defense but it's going to be a shot going their way rather dragons unable to defend that shot that's going to be another goal for the bears we're now three to two and with one minute remaining i'm pretty sure matthias we've seen that both of these teams are capable of a lot this is still absolutely a complete toss-up as to who can take this one exactly it's just well within reach for these bears to bring us to our first overtime we've had on stream but you know, it's still a minute left on the clock. That is not a lot of time left. It's doable, but it is a do or die situation and they need to get this very, very soon. The Dragons having an amazing defense and an amazing offense. Look at them continuing to push the aggression and they want to secure that lead with one more point. With 30 seconds of running, they could also just try and stall over time. Dragons have a lot of options, but the Bears just have one. They need to win. They need to score this goal. 30 seconds and counting left on the clock. They need to get into a good position. It looks like the Dragons are going to sink in one more goal potentially. But if they can save it out, the Bears might have a horse in this race here. This is going to be a Ooh. very close game. A very close game indeed with 10 seconds on the clock. It's going to be another shot for the Dragons. And just to ensure victory, they get one more. Now we're looking forward to two. And that's most likely if... I don't even, probably math is to be believed. That is going to be game two going the way of the Dragons. Unless Bears can really make something excellent here. If they get the goal off the kickoff and then a follow-up after that, that could be what they need. Are they able to find oh, it? Not wow. quite. That is not going to go in, but very close enough. At least enough to be scary. And that's going to be game two. Once again, game two going the way of the Dragons. Now we're going to a game four situation. Now it's 1-1 one, one on the score. We're going to be going over to game three. It's going to be all up to who takes the lead at this point. It's all 
looking pretty good for both teams. The Dragons very, very competitive in that game, just utterly dominant throughout most of it, but the Bears seemingly figured out some strategy against them close to the end, so I'm excited to see if that will translate to the next game. For sure, and one thing I definitely want to point out from both of these teams is the way that they're coming back from all of them. You can always see on the cameras, you know, they're talking, they're active, they're trying to figure things out, they're trying to come to solutions. It all comes down to whether or not you're able to implement these plans to find success. So hopefully, either of these teams are able to really nail down what's working, what's not, and come to a solution, because that's what's gonna be the defining factor for them in this game. But the Dragons, right off of a successful kickoff, are able to take that momentum, turn it into a goal from themselves, and now they're up 1-0 in this game three situation. Looks like the Dragons have locked in. They always seem to get the first goal, win or lose in the game. They always hit the pace in terms of goals. And now the Bears are on the prowl, trying to answer this goal as soon as they can. And we're gonna see if they'll be able to do it in a timely fashion. Timely fashion might not even be necessary here as long as it gets done. I'm sure they'll be content with however it turns out. And it's gonna be close to the net, but not quite. Gonna get saved very well by the Bears. Dragons are still soaring up along that wall, but it's not gonna be completely safe as there's flying bears in the air too. Never thought you'd see the day, but here it's come. And they're taking the ball right over to your corner. They're not gonna let off the offense yet. They're gonna tonight take a nice shot, center it up, get Give it to your teammate, a great pass, a great opening they found, and they're making it into goals. Very well done by the Bears. Yeah, in the sand goal right there, sinking it in. No one was looking in Bear Esports, looking at very good, getting their head back in the game. Maybe looking to even get ahead in terms of points. It's 1-0-1. One -oh -one. It's all even on the scoreboard, and that's an opening the Bears love to see. They sunk it in across everybody else, threading the needle. A perfect shot to start the results in the lead. Uh, I really am just impressed with how things are going for the Bears right now. Again, it's like they're taking turns, trading back and forth. Who gets to win? It's just such a dominant fashion both times here. It, they're making it look easy, but I know for sure it's not. These teams are playing Rocket League at such a high level, and they're using not only their mechanics to get them forward, but of course, strategy is such a huge element of any kind of team-based game, and they're making it work for them so well well so effortlessly and you can see right now the bears are chasing it down they're trying to set themselves up for another aggressive play it's going to be in the blue corner now that's going to force everybody into a bit of a scramble as they try to rest control of it to get it cleared out but with a clever interception potentially no it's actually going to go right over it but there's the double interception and it's almost going to be a shot almost going to be a goal but just missed that one coming off the wall now bouncing out of the corner can you make this into something teammates not there to follow it up just yet but at least now they're up you can go for another one someone can go for another setup gonna try to center it stuck in the corner two of them in the corner once more no one on the other end to cement the goal that's gonna lead to an opportunity for the dragons to make a breakaway taking it to the orange corner now up in the air once again we've seen this many times before but can this be made into a goal not quite just a little bit early on that shot but it's still gonna be on the dragon side of things to maintain the pressure they're gonna be able to break the clear to take it right back over to Orange and maintain the pressure. Off the corner once again, trying to center it, but it's gonna get intercepted by a Bear and taken out back to the blue side. Back on the blue side, and it's back to the Bears to set that pace for the attack. And now he's gonna go in, try and sink this one, but the defense for the Dragons is just so damn out. And now, Pass back and forth. They're just trying to keep it out of the Dragon's hands, but no, they wrestle it right back into the Bears. Once again, it's all up there. It's very back and forth here. Both teams battling for dominance. The Bears gonna set the pace once more, gearing up for a goal. Almost get the sink in. They got the goal almost, but they don't quite get as the clear comes through for the Dragons. The Dragons. It's 
the base hit for the goal within these next two minutes. They need to try and even up the scoreline. They're trying their best right now, but again, I can't blame them. It's so difficult. The Bears have been able to make so many things work. Fortunately for them, they were able to get a roller shot just a little bit earlier, so at least they don't have the initiative to make this goal happen. Having the initiative to make a play, being forced to be the ones to make things happen, always adds an extra layer of pressure, and with pressure comes difficulty. So the Dragons facing that down, I wouldn't be surprised if that's a factor in what's making things so difficult for them right now. Nonetheless, they still have to do their best to make something happen. Otherwise, they'd be risking giving the Bears even more opportunity to make this a further and further game. Just like that, from the corner off the wall, it's going to roll into the corner. Nobody was ready to defend that one out, and that's going to be another goal for the Bears. Bears securing their lead way by two points. Dragons, not an undoable task, but a very difficult one to pull off. Now, they have to they have to move Each second is going to count here. And as you can see, they're moving quick. The Dragons moving, trying to get this goal as soon as they can. Getting it right in front of the neck. The clears from the Bears are just too strong. And now, we pass all the competition, try and gear themselves up for another goal but it's still just going to be a tough decision because the Dragons' defense is nothing to sneeze at as well. Nothing to sneeze at, yet right now it seems that the Bears are just sneezing all throughout this game. 3-1 to one right now with 30 seconds remaining. I'm sure they're feeling really comfortable, but the Dragons are still doing a lot of work to make them feel any slight discomfort possible. They're trying to make sure that they're maintaining pressure without alleviating or without leaving gaps in their defense, but as the Bears kind of kick things up a notch and start stepping up offense on their own side of things, it's going to get harder and harder to maintain that composure. As we see now with time ticking down, the Dragons just have to figure out what they can do going into this next game to make sure it goes their way instead. Yeah, the Dragons have such an amazing offense, but I think sometimes the Bears just play the patient waiting game and kind of wait them out and wait for their amazing offense to maybe overcommit a little bit. But overall, both teams have been playing very, very well. The Dragons have such amazing plays and amazing synergy as well. Yeah, the Dragons have just been soaring completely throughout this series. Um, through their previous one primarily, we were able to see their strong suit, their strengths. Once they get an offensive pressure going, it's very hard to shut down. But the Bears have seemed to figure them out so far. They haven't really let up any pressure. They haven't really faced... I haven't really seen them struggle on the defense like we've seen other teams so far today. You can tell when a team is playing comfortably. You can tell when they're confident. And right now, that's all I see coming out of the Bears. Whereas right now, I still see that the Dragons are trying to come up with solutions, which you always have to be if you're not the one in the driver's seat. But they have to get on the right track soon enough. Otherwise, the Bears are going to run away with the series. The Bears are looking very, very good right now. One point away in the series, and they're looking to try and set the pace with the first goal. But the Dragons don't want to let their reputation go away just yet. They've always gotten the first goal in the series, and they want to try and set the pace right here. But no, it's going to be the Bears getting the first goal this time. Maybe that actually spells good news for the Dragons. You know, they've gotten the first ones in the previous games, uh, and it didn't go their way. But now with the Bears getting the first one, perhaps this is the pattern that they need to break. Now, going into this one, 1-0 one against the Dragons. They really have to do the work to make sure that they don't kind of uh, check out. They have to make sure that they still play 100% consistent, ready, and eager, willing to keep fighting. Wow. Although it might be a little bit difficult when the Bears are just playing at this level, just getting goal after goal after goal. The Dragons aren't going to have a lot of work cut out for them, but they still, at the very least, have plenty of time remaining in this game. Especially with how competitive these games have been on the defense, you don't want to let any goals pass your game. The Dragons now have to even go for a full aggressive play, but it's a gamble as well. You'll let yourself maybe even get another goal shot on you, as it looks like the Bears are looking to do. They just just barely save it out from their team. And now the Bears flying this ball. They don't want to let up on the gas. The Dragons trying to take control of this ball, trying to set the pace for themselves. 
go up the wall, trying to get a setup that way. It's right in front of the net. If someone can swoop in and get it, it's going to be the Bears getting that one up in the air. And they're going to continue to put the pressure, keep the boost, depriving Dragons of any advantage they can possibly get in this game. They're doing an amazing job at controlling this game. And their Dragons have a nice shot and a nice demo. If there's an opportunity to strike it, now is the time. They open it up with the defense from the Bears. Clears the ball. I'm really starting to look forward to seeing how the Dragons are going to try to come back from this 3-0 now deficit. They are doing such a great job over on the side of the Bears of just dominating so far. Uh, I really have liked how the Bears have been looking so far today. The way they're playing really just shows a level of uh, Discipline is the closest word I can think of when it comes to how they're making the plays, the decisions that they're making, and how they're executing these plans. The Dragons as well. If any other team has been as close to the Bears as I can recall, it's been them. But right now, it seems the Bears have just had their number so far in the series, up 4-0 right now, three minutes remaining. Plenty of time for the Dragons, but again, I feel like the Bears have just got them figured out right now. And the Bears had just have the tactical knowledge of what makes the dragons tick and they seem to figure out the gaps in their armor they keep hammering away at those small little gaps and now the dragons just have such good pure aggressiveness i mean look at that almost already in the goal right there bears just have that defensive knowledge to keep themselves safe i mean look at that save a beautiful save from the Bears, and now they're surely going to turn this into an aggressive push of their own. The little in-game cast are kind of showing us up a little bit, like, what a save! <laughs> I, I, hey, man, let us cast, all right? <laughs> Going now, two minutes, 30 seconds remaining close to, and right now, the Dragons are trying to find something, anything, once again, if not to even close out the game in their favor, to at least show themselves that they still have something, some kind of energy. I believe this is a single elimination bracket so if they go down here they might be out for the day uh, so single elimination everything's riding on the line for this game but with how things are going so far the bears are five to nothing two more goals and the dragons won't even get a chance to continue fighting because of the mercy rule Exactly. The pairs looking utterly dominant right now, and for good reason. They have been such a strong force throughout this game. Even more so than the Dragons right now. The Dragons still have some fight left in them. They're not going to go down without a great fight. Their defense is trying to keep this ball away, but the Bears just keep hammering it in. One of them is bound to land. At this point, the Dragons are eyeing this goal. They're not giving up. They're going to keep on fighting to the bitter end right now. Good for the Dragons. They're getting a nice tee up, but the Bears are just constantly in control. They're always setting the pace. There's a nice air hit from the Bears. It's going to get cleared out by the Dragons once again. Cleared out, but not forgotten as the Bears are stuck on their scent. They're tracking them down, and they're on the hunt because after right now, the Dragons going for that shot, they do find it. Thankfully, they still have the coordination. They still have the energy, the will to keep fighting, which is always a good thing to see. And they're able to execute and get at least one goal. Whether or not they're going to be able to get four to five more, we're going to have to wait this minute and a half to see. But at the very least, this team is showing that they can still play, they can still fight. And not only that, they're still willing to, which is ultimately the most important part of any competition. Exactly. You don't want to give up, and they certainly are not. They're still playing, and they still play it like they can potentially win this here. And they very well could if they can keep getting these goals. We've seen miracles happen in Rocket League, so there's no point in ever giving up. And the Dragon soaring through the sky, looking to get this ball in that goal once more. The demo comes out from the Dragons, but the Bears get another goal to get their five-point lead secured once more. So far, so good. The Bears, again, look to send a message to any on-looking teams. Be warned, everybody. We are not playing around 6-1 to one against the Dragons. The Bears are looking in perfect form right now, and hopefully they can carry that forward into their next series if they're able to come out on top here against the Dragons. With a minute remaining and five goals staring them down, the Dragons have a long path to recovery here. But again, not impossible. Not impossible, but still very difficult indeed. 
Almost 30 seconds remaining, and the Bears make another shot, and they're actually able to find it. That's another goal with now just one goal away from separating them from a Mercy Rule victory, but 37 seconds as well, being another barrier preventing them from reaching that. Can the Dragons or the Bears find any more goals in this game to at least send a message to themselves. Exactly. You don't want to go down with that fight, and they certainly are not. I mean, look at the Dragons already being so aggressive. They're not going to go down to a mercy rule if they can very well prevent it. Right now, they're getting amazing clears, amazing saves, and amazing demos. They're going to keep on fighting the good fight. Let's get another goal right there. They're still keeping their form in top shape. I mean, look at this gameplay here. It's up in the air for the catch to slam it back down. The Bears clear it out. They're hungry for one more goal. They want to invoke the Mercy Rule. If they can manage to do it, it would be the first one we see today. But no, the Dragons successfully prevent the Mercy Rule. But the Bears advance further in. Very much so. They advance on to the next game. They're still alive in this tournament, and they can still keep fighting. Unfortunately, we will have to be saying goodbye to the Dragons in their tournament run, at least. But from what we've seen from them today and what we've seen, to them, seen from them just now, I'm sure they're more than happy with their performance because they played very well, and I'm sure they should be very proud of the results. But going to the next series, we're going to have now the Bears are going to be going against the Osgood uh, Township Panthers in the next game for the semifinal match of the winner's bracket. So we're going to be seeing whether or not we're going to get to watch that game on stream as we're getting ready to continue on in this playoff bracket. But after that match, I'd be remiss to not kind of just reminisce on it a little bit longer with exactly. us before we go to a break. Yeah, that was amazing. The Dragons always getting the first goal, always being so good on mm. that first attack. But the Bears just have that comeback potential. And they have that defensive play that lets them outlast the long five-minute rounds. They manage to get those goals time after time. It's like a war of attrition for them. They like those long games. They like to stretch it out all the way. And they know when to strike. Absolutely. But, ladies and gentlemen, while we are getting ready for that next game, we're going to throw it to a quick break to give time for the teams to get settled in and get ready. But... Like you saw that action from that previous series, there's plenty more to come. We have so much more Rocket League to play through. We'll see you guys very soon.